my latest project that I'm working on, um, I'm using two servos uh, at the same time. One of them needs to be reversed. I'm using these HS300 high-tech servos, and I thought maybe you might want to see how to reverse a servo in case you never have. So the one I'm reversing, I've already done this one, the one I'm reversing is this one. These two wires on the motor and they have to be reversed. Once that's done, take the circuit board out of here and you'll see there are three wires connected to this pot. The way this works is you just take the yellow wire and put it on the red wire side and the red wire on the other. Okay, I've switched the yellow one here over and now I'm going to go ahead and solder the red one to the other side very carefully. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to switch the two wires on the motor. First I'll loosen up this one. And this one. I'm going to take this one and put it over here. And I'm going to take this orange one and I'm going to put it over here. There we go. Now we've got a reverse servo. Put it back together. And try it out. So there we go. Reverse servo. It's working fine. I'll go ahead and put the back back on it. Well, here's another tip. I always use these rubber uh, grommets that come with servos. You know, they got uh, slots on them and everything, and they go in the in the ends right here. I use them all the time for spacers and rubber mountings and everything. But anyway, for these screw-on ball uh, connectors like these clevises that always seem to have a little gap here at the end, uh, all you got to do is just take this rubber grommet and slide that up over it just like this and there's your keeper and uh, it won't come apart or rip like sometimes silicone does so there you go